चलिए आगे बढ़ते हैं दूसरा सेक्टर जो फोकस में है रियल एस्टेट और उसकी बड़ी कंपनी गोदरेज प्रॉपर्टीज इसके नंबर्स आए दिसंबर तिमाही में नतीजे एक्चुअली एक्चुअली कमजोर रहे आ, मुनाफा 70 परसेंट घटा आय में 50 परसेंट से ज्यादा की कमजोरी देखी गई है गिरावट देखी गई मार्जिन भी 22 परसेंट गिरे आगे क्या आउटलुक है और क्यों कमी आई ये जानने की कोशिश करेंगे कंपनी की क्या स्ट्रैटेजी एग्जीक्यूटिव चेयरमैन फिरोज शाह गोदरेज हमारे साथ शो में जुड़ रहे हैं फिरोज शाह गुड आफ्टरनून मेनी थैंक्स फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस एंड बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आपका इस क्वार्टर के हाइलाइट्स बताइए जिस तरह से गिरावट देखने को मिली है प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी में इनकम में और इवन मार्जिन में क्या खास कारण रहा उसका you know sustainability is something that's very dear to us at the gobrid group so it was wonderful to receive this global recognition which will inspire our team to you know continue to focus their efforts on this um the third quarter was a little bit of a mixed bag i think the accounting numbers from a pnl perspective were disappointing um you know we we said at the start of the year that i think the disruption created by covid and the impact that has on construction timelines during the year would impact the reported pnl this year because our accounting methodology now requires us to complete a project before uh, you know uh, recognizing any revenue from it so i think that explains why that was a little weak during the quarter on the other hand the actual operating performance we think was quite robust uh, so we had new bookings which is the new sales we did during the quarter uh, reached just under 1500 crore which was a year on year growth of 25% and a quarter on quarter growth of about 38%. So I think that was quite encouraging. We also added two new projects to our portfolio in Bangalore which we these are both projects we hope to launch in the upcoming financial year which will significantly add to the scale of our Bangalore operations. And lastly but very importantly one of the other big uh, things to note about the quarter was that customer collections got back to pre covid levels so we collected nearly 1200 crores from our customers which was actually more than we collected in the first two quarters of the financial year combined um so i think things are you know picking up for the sector we're seeing overall um, you know a much more positive trajectory and quite optimistic about the year ahead okay all right so aap aage ke liye kafi optimistic hai trajectory growth ki ab better lag rahi hai yahan se uh, revival bhi aa raha hai main aap se hi jana chahungi because uh, ab hum growth plans ki baat kare strategy kya hogi company ki kis tarike ki hum uh, uh, action dekhenge company ki taraf se in terms of acquisition of land parcels and so on uh, growth plans and growth strategy kya uh, adopt kar rahe hain ab aage um overall i think of course this is very beneficial for the economy and for the real estate sector particularly for the office developments because i think you know a lot of new tenants for office leasing were adopting a wait and watch attitude waiting to see how things unfolded now i think with offices reopening with things slowly uh, but steadily moving towards normal i think we'll see office leasing start to pick up a little bit residential demand you know has been benefited across the world um by the pandemic i think as everyone has been forced to spend more times inside their homes the kind of importance of uh, both the security that home ownership offers and of course the importance of just being able to use um, a, a modern home i think has risen as a priority in everyone's minds so the residential sector in india and the world over has really been benefiting over the last few months and given the attractive affordability because of low interest rates and you know property prices having remained flat we see that continuing quite strongly over the next couple of years all right so uh, easing of corona se ab yahan demand better dikh rahi hai chahe wo commercial ho residential ho main jana chahungi finally jo uh, you know uh, aapke ab naye properties naye projects kya pipeline mein hai kahan par uh, honge aur uh, किस तरीके का आपका एक्सपेंस होगा एनसीआर एंड न्यूअर मार्केट्स और न्यूअर ज्योग्राफीज के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से Yeah, launch pipeline is actually looking very exciting. So, the fourth quarter, the current quarter of this financial year, we hope to see our best ever quarter from both a new launches perspective and new bookings perspective. We have as many as twelve new launches lined up for this quarter. So, hopefully, assuming we get all the regulatory approvals we need for those, we'll see a very robust 
um, quarter from a new launch perspective. And that will set us up very well for the new financial year starting in April, because we've been adding quite a few projects to our company's portfolio over the last couple of years. Some of those have already been launched, but a large number of them will be launched in the fourth quarter and in various quarters of next financial year. So all in all, I think we're feeling very bullish about the company's prospects. Um, about how the sector is is turning and we look forward to doing our best to capitalize on that all right a robust <coughs> pipeline hai projects ki jaisa bata rahe all the very best pirod sure always pleasure speaking with you to ye hai godrej properties ke chairman baat karte hue ki aage ki growth trajectory ab bahut zyada strong dikh rahi hai dekhiye stock mein bhi zabardast mazbooti 5.5% ki tezi ke sath 1400 ke levels ke upar fila trade karte hue to ye the गोडरेज प्रॉपर्टीज के मैनेजमेंट से एक्सक्लूसिव बातचीत एक छोटा सा ब्रेक लेते हैं इस नॉट को ब्रेक के बाद हम खबरों का सिलसिला जारी रखेंगे आप कहीं ना जाए